Hello friends, welcome back to Our Up Associates. Today I will show you how we can model L-shaped column in ETAPS. Here you can see four columns which are L-shaped. Select any of them and copy. At first we will check its dimension. This is 2 feet, that means 24 inch. This is 2 feet. This dimension is 10 inch. And this dimension is also 10 inch. Okay. Now we will go to ETAPS, go to File, New Model, use Build in Setting, click on OK. Click on OK. OK. Now go to Define, go to Section Property, Frame Section. Go to Delete Multiple Properties. Select all of them and delete them. Now select all the properties except one and delete them. Click on OK. Now go to Add New Property. From the drop down menu, select Concrete L and click on OK. Here we will name it as L 24 by 10 by 24. Here you can use any uh, PSI or any strength of concrete. Here our preference is just modeling of the L shape column. So let's uh, come to the section dimensions. Here at first we will input the value of total depth. Initially this value is 30 inch. That means from this point to this point. Okay, from this point to this point, the length is 30 inch, okay, which is a built-in value, but we will change this value to 24 inch, okay. As a result, you can see that this dimension has been changed, but this dimension is still same, that means 30 inch. Now, we will change total width, that means we will make this one also 24 inch, okay. Now, this dimension is also 24 inch. Now we have to input the value of horizontal leg thickness which is 8 inch by default that means from this point to this point the dimension is 8 inch we will change this to 10 inch so the dimension has been increased. Now what is vertical leg thickness at corner basically vertical leg thickness at corner means the thickness from this point to this point okay that means this length or this thickness and vertical leg thickness at tip means this point to this point that means the dimension or the depth of this point to this point so at first we will make this one 10 inch so you can see that this dimension or this length has been increased but this one is still same so input 10 inch here okay now we will go to uh, we will go to click okay then again click OK. Now from here select all stories. Here I will show you two procedure. Both procedure is important to understand the modeling properly. At first we will go to quick draw column. Then from here select the property. Here angle I am using 0. Plan offset in X direction 0. Plan offset in Y direction also 0. Cardial point here we have several options, okay, but we are using middle center, okay. What is middle center? Come back to AutoCAD. If we take a copy, now delete them. Just consider a rectangle here. So draw a rectangle, okay, from this. I have drawn a rectangle. Now move this one. Explore this one. Now find its center. Okay. We can change its color. Basically, here middle center means each apps is. Uh, ETAPS is showing us or providing us this center point. 
if we consider this point as 0 0 then we can see that the length or the coordinate of this point is 1 feet or 12 inches in x direction and also in y direction the coordinate is 12 inches okay that means ETAPS is suggesting us or providing us this point okay now go to ETAPS from here by selecting this option that means middle center we will just click here just click here okay then we will model this one so change the angle to 90 degree okay then we will model this one so change the angle to 180 degree wait for the next procedure also and then we will change this value to 270 degree okay we have modeled this four l shaped column but here issue is here issue is if we go to AutoCAD plan you can see that these two grid are intersecting at this point okay also these two grid is intersecting at this point similarly for these two and these two which we are not getting in ETAPS so if we need to model them according to our AutoCAD plan what we can do let's select them all and delete them now go to quick draw column that means we are going for the next procedure click on ok now here you can see this is the center point of the rectangle okay but we need this point we need this point okay we need this point so again if we uh, draw a rectangle here to find out its center or we can say that if we interested to find out the difference between the center and this point what we can do just model a line okay that means this is the center point of the rectangle and this is our required point so what is the distance from here you can see the distance is 7 inch in x direction and 7 inch in y direction which we have to input in ETAPS now what will you do if we select here we can see that we have to move our uh, L shape column uh, at right side by 7 inch and at downward by 7 inch so what will we do we will go for minus 7 in x direction and minus 7 in y direction now if we click here we have got the point okay now go for the next one again make this one zero make this one zero now from here select 90 similar procedure basically if we are interested to get the uh, l shape column according to our plan what we have to input here let's go to cad just consider a rectangle here okay here also distances are same that means 7 inch sorry okay so what is the difference 7 inch and also 7 inch okay but when we will uh, input them in ETAPS just uh, take decision from here we have to uh, move our column at right side by 7 inch and downward by 7 inch that means for x direction that means for plan offset in x we have to provide positive 7 and for downward we will provide here minus 7 and now click here okay similarly for this one again make this one 0 to understand this one properly from here I will use angle 180 degree now go here okay now go here 
we have to move our collab at right side by 7 inch and at upward by 7 inch. That means we will use both positive 7 in x and y direction. You have to take the decision by locating this grid point, okay, as per the position of the grid or intersecting grid, okay. Now go for the last one that means uh, 270 degree, we will make here 0 and also 0 here. Now go here, that means we have to uh, move our column at rightward by 7 inch and at upward by 7 inch, okay. That means we have to use minus 7 for x and plus 7 for y and click here. Now you can see that we have modeled this 4 column or 4 L shape column as per AutoCAD plan. But if you model your structure by this way, you can see that there have some difference between the center of the column and the grid point. That means this is the joint of the of your column and this is the basic grid point. Okay. So, if you are interested to model by this way, that means as per AutoCAD plan, you have to assign link between this grid point and this joint. Okay. Which we will see in the next tutorial. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.